pro uh, properties for sale, basically. Um, and it's for like commercial properties. So, um, you know how much the subscription is for that per month? For if an agent wants to use it so they can see, so they can list their own properties for sale or they can see other properties listed for sale, is $2,500 a month. It's like an alternative to Zillow. It's basically like Zillow, but for commercial properties, it's $2,500 a month. And I would always tell people, like, like this software that, that they made, CoStar made, maybe costs like $5 million or so to make. That's not a, like a little amount of money. That's a lot of money. But let's go to some people in like, you know, Silicon Valley or whatever and find investors and get $10 million and make an even better alternative to them. And nobody listened. That was four years ago that I was saying that. And CoStar was nothing at the time. You want to see something crazy? You know how big CoStar is right now? Here, let me let me let me show you, let me show you this thing really quick. Open the chat for uh, like this thing. You guys are in this chat, yeah. If you look up CoStar, and you look up their logo, right? Yo, wait. Yep. It's this. This is their this yep. is their logo. Notice notice the design in that logo, okay? Now, if you look up a different real estate company called LoopNet, totally unrelated. This is the LoopNet logo. Notice something a little familiar? Oh, Notice something a little familiar? Oh, LoopNet is, by the way, if you ask people, LoopNet is their competitor. It's the second biggest one. They own yeah, the yeah. biggest real estate platform and the second mm. biggest real estate platform. CoStar, as a company, owns both of them. And back then we knew about this. Back then we knew LoopNet was like, it's a cheaper version of CoStar. It doesn't have as many features. Um, and even back then we knew it was super lucrative, but I never knew how lucrative it was until I started like just noticing. You guys know the website Biz Buy Sell where people can buy and sell their businesses. Like people can list their businesses for sale online. You guys ever heard that of that website? No. This is... It's biz by sell to, you can go on the website and check it out. It's very easy to like buy businesses on there. Look at the logo for that website. This guys is both the, all of his companies. And then, yeah, people use that to like flip businesses. Um, mm. People I know check on there all the time. This is one that you might know. This is one that you might know. Look at the logo for apartments.com. I'm not even gonna send it. Just, just go on apartments.com and look at the logo. And here's a new one that I found out about recently, homes.com. Homes.com is also owned by them. And guess what? Land.com is also owned by them. All these incredible domains. And there's another one called 10X, and they have a giant skyscraper in Atlanta. And all it, like, it's, it's ridiculous. They probably spent like $10 million to make their software. And now their company is like a $10 billion company. And there's so many other companies like this that are that are always popping in and out of real estate. There's all these new AI companies and all this stuff. And I would always tell people at this office, like, stop, you know, going wasting your time, you know, getting paid hourly to show home buyers like a three bedroom house. No, spend your time making software to innovate this like old industry that's like very ripe for innovation. You know, work smarter. Exactly. Exactly. Because <clears throat> right. it, there's there's when I looked at it in real estate, there's actually like, if you're digging for gold versus selling shovels, selling shovels is not only more profitable, it's actually easier in real estate.